Okay, so this problem wants us to find several things. It wants us to find V naught, which is this voltage across this component. So the voltage from here to here. So it wants us to find that voltage and the power absorbed, how much energy is, how much power is being taken out by each element in the circuit. So let's start out by v naught here or this v zero here okay so if we call this down here zero volts let's just call that zero volts down here and let's just go around this circuit here so at this point we have zero volts plus 30 volts that means this point up here is 30 volts and if we move this direction, that's 12 volts, and that's going from positive to negative, so we subtract 12 volts. So 30 minus 12 is 18. So this point here is 18 volts. So if we take a look at the voltage V naught across here, we see that the voltage is 18 volts. So we have V naught is equal to 18 volts. So that's our first solution. So that's the first thing we need to find. Now the second thing we need to find is the power absorbed by each of these components, all of them. So let's keep going. So let's take, remember that power is equal to the voltage times the current. The power is equal to voltage times current. So the power of the 12 volt, this system right here, 12 volt, so how much is being taken out? So the voltage across here is 12. And then we multiply that times its current, the 6 amps. So 12 times 6 is then 40, or yeah, 12 times 6 is 72, 72 watts. Okay. All right, now let's talk about the power of the 28 volt, this one. Well, we actually have two, so let's call this number one up here. So this is number one here. So the voltage across number one is 28 volts, and then we multiply it times the current, which is two, so we get 56 watts, for that one. And let's keep going. The power for the 28 volts two is the voltage is 28 volts. And we multiply it by the current, which is one amp. And that comes out to be 28 watts because these are going from positive to negative the current here is positive to negative that's how much power we're taking out okay if this was negative to positive we would be putting the power in power into the system but this here they're taking the power out Okay, so the next thing, let's do the, uh, the voltage source. So this, this one right here, let's do this one. So the power of the voltage source, I'm gonna just say Vs, voltage source, voltage source. And the voltage across here, it's a dependent voltage source. So 
It is five times I not. I not here. So where is I not? Well, that's this up here. Two amps. So the voltage is five times two. And the current here is three. Now we need to be careful because remember in all of these up here, we went from positive to negative. And that would mean we we're taking power out. This time we're going from negative to positive. So we're putting power in, putting power into the system. So since we're talking about absorbed, this is going to be a negative value. So put your negative value out front here. So negative, so that's 10 times three, that is negative 30 watts. So that is putting 30 watts into the system. So that's what that is uh, showing. Okay, and this one here, we're taking power out. We said V naught is 18 volts. So the power of V naught is equal to 18 volts times the current, which is three. So 18 times three, that is 54 watts. And Lastly, we have the power of the 30 volt power supply. So here, and we're going from negative to positive. So that is putting power into the system. So we have 30, and let's put a negative out front, 30 times six, and that should be negative 180 watts. Now, if we add these all up, if we add these all up and we take the sum of all the power here, of all the powers, we will see that if we add all of these up, they are equal to zero, which shows that energy is conserved. And that's an important concept that we can neither destroy charge or make charge, we can only transfer charge.